Brighton to the i360 uh, because BA are spending more money on the i360 and sponsoring the i360 than they are investing in their cabin crew. It's just fundamentally unfair. You know, we've got people living on poverty wages and um, they're investing more money and time and effort into sponsoring the i360 than they are in making it a livable wage for us in London. The i360 staff uh, are on more as a basic salary than we are. Uh, the i360 staff uh, are on £17,000 a year and we're on 12 and not as a safety critical Roll on board the aircraft either. Cabin crew was offered a £20 a month pay rise, 6p an hour, which is an absolute disgrace for British Airways. A company that is in maximum profit and its cabin crew are on such a poor wage, they're unable to commute to and from work, they have to sleep in cars, they can't afford accommodation. 6p won't get me far, I'm still sleeping in my car! 6p won't get me far! I'm still sleeping in my car! It's so expensive living in central London or in the city or even around the airport. I moved myself four times within the last year and I just can't afford to leave. That's coming cool, yeah. If you want a few more to give these out, then absolutely it's fine. Yeah, fab. Thank you. Mixed United will never be defeated! Mixed United will never be defeated! If your young children would like to work for British Airways, do be warned that they'll be paid £12,192 and forced to live near the airport where they can't sustain themselves. So we're on strike, fighting for fair pay for a fair day's work. Enjoy your lunch, guys. Thank you. Mixed United will never be defeated! 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 Manchester Airport is one of the busiest hubs on the Mixed Fleet network. Mixed Fleet operate the Manchester shuttle numerous times a day. We also have a lot of commuters that use that shuttle to commute down to Heathrow as well. So it's only fair that we take our flight to Manchester Airport to make the general public aware of exactly what we're up against. Our members are day by day growing stronger and stronger. Over the last couple of days we've had numerous new members who have now changed their mind that they actually want to come and join the fight to achieve a fair living wage. This fight and this action will continue way into the summer period if British Airways do not come to the table and start meaningful negotiations. Our mandate currently runs up to April the 3rd. Unfortunately for us and the whole trade union movement, the Conservative Party have changed the rules. So for instance, instead of the seven days notice we've been given BA, it's now 14 days. What we've got to do is protect our position. We've got to make sure that BA are aware that this is not going away. We're in a position to notify today BA of new ballot for action. Now it's going to be Good Friday. Now it's going to be Easter weekend. You know, why won't this company come and sit and talk to us while they're constantly putting their passengers into delays and cancellations? Why won't they come and offer us a decent deal? I'm here to tell you that you've got our moral support. You know, we've, had, we've been doing flights for you, much to our shame. We've had members get in touch saying, can we do anything? But unfortunately, again, because of legislation, we, we can't advise that people don't win because it's secondary action. But people are supportive of you and we're very uncomfortable about doing it where it's happening. As strikers, we need to be proud that we are strikers. We have our yellow pens and we talk about everything on the strike where we can. People need to discuss and share information. Nothing to be ashamed, like ashamed of. This is serious. And we cannot lose this war. Even the ones who've gone into work that have voted yes, we still need to encourage them to vote yes again. One of the tactics we show airways will use, which all companies do, they'll rely on you getting tired. Mm, yeah. They rely on you just yeah. getting used to a new normal <coughs> and you can't win. Keep strong for each other. Know that you've got our support because you're not just doing this for you. You're doing this for the industry. Mm. An industry that a lot of the terms and conditions, they're looking to go that way. And it is an ideological choice. Be under no illusions about that. We've got the Conservative government in. Business is taking big advantage of that. It's an ideological choice to break the unions and to break the will and the strength of workers. If everyone in mixed fleet, if all 3,000 come out, we win. Yeah, yeah. It's as yeah. simple as that. More and more people are putting into the hardship fund. 
our message will get out there. And every day after bank holiday, it's going to get harder and harder and harder for BA to carry on. And they need to wake up, smell the coffee, sit down with people like me and our other reps, and then knock out a deal. Don't be like, afraid to say, I'm a striker. I am a striker. You should be a striker as well. We cannot lose. If we lose this, no we are absolutely gone. So, yeah. 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 yeah.